Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning, 4.30, and we are at the Delta Terminal. We are headed to Chattanooga to hang out with Ed and Michelle for Ed's 50th birthday. It'll be fun. All right, so we uh, made a quick stop um, after we checked into the hotel. They actually let us in early. We're at a place called the Pickle Barrel. We're gonna have a beer and some food. It's a really neat place. They got an upstairs too and an out outside. Real rustic. All right, so we're at the uh, social, which is inside the public house, which is a pretty cool bar. And they have a shit ton of bourbons up there. And we're getting uh, a Duke's Reserve and something else. I don't even know. <laughs> okay, quick stop at uh, Gate 11 Distillery. There's a, a choo-choo train. It's inside the Chattanooga choo-choo. Yeah. And there's a hotel called the Choo-Choo Hotel. <laughs> and there's a American Draft purveyor of craft beer. A comedy club, an arcade, and this is where we're at. It's a cool little um, outdoorsy weekend thing, I would guess. But today, we're going to have a bourbon at Gate 11. Alright, so we're staying at the uh, Reed Hotel. It's uh, one of the more historic hotels here, aside from the uh, Choo Choo Hotel. And they have a five-star steakhouse and a bar. Beautiful marble floors. Okay, let's check out the room. Oh, I got a doorman. <laughs> oh, it's not a bad room. Pretty good. We always gotta check out the bathroom through the uh, the darkness here. Oh, okay. We got the handicap room for uh, us old fifty year olds. All right, and let's see. Do you have to put hey, your birthday on? We pre press the button. Oh, yeah. All right, let's really neat shape. let's see what the outdoor looks like. What our view looks like. Well, the view oh. isn't really pretty, but this is That's really cool. cool. I want those. And porta potties. Oh, looks like it's picture time. Woohoo! All right, so we just found a speakeasy. It's hard to see. It's really dark. Try to get some pictures. All right, so this building, as we were walking up to it, looked big, but it turns out it's very thin. So we're going to go there and watch the hockey game tomorrow. Alright, so tonight we're going to a place called Alia for dinner. And it is a like an Italian fusion I always find place. place. Tiffany found some master chef. And here we are. Look at that door is badass. Okay. Alright, I don't know if you can see it or not, but this place is pretty amazing. Super cool. All right, so we're at the unknown bar, and uh, that's pretty cool. That's I want one of those awesome. for the house, and here we go. Let's check it out. Go hurry. hurry. Oh. Welcome. Please look at phone for new code 21 and older. Fucking push the door. Look at phone. Hello. Push door on, right? Here we go. What's up? What's up? Oh. All right, so the uh, unknown bar has uh, the best picture ever. The queen, the late queen, the late queen, blowing a bubble. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. Another speakeasy for the night.
All right, today we are doing Ruby Falls and Lookout Mountain. Yeah. But first, we're stopping at Sleepyhead Coffee. This is their little coffee room. They use two spaces. All right, on our way to, or out of the way to Ruby Falls, we stopped at uh, Coolidge Park. It is the entrance way on the other side of Chattanooga's river there. Um, it's the uh, entrance way to the Walnut Creek pedestrian bridge, which runs all the way over into the other side. So we're gonna go check out a rhinoceros on a cart. <laughs> all right, as promised, a rhino on a cart. It's purple. And across the river there is the uh, is downtown Chattanooga. Um, the Hunter's Museum's right there. It, uh, that's such a cool um, wall with all the walls. Here we are up the mountain. All right, so we're in Ruby Falls. The lighting's not good at all. We are hundreds of feet underground. About how far did you down on So right here in this part is about 260 feet and that changes as we go throughout the day. So we're out of the cave. We're up here at the uh, top of the Ruby Falls castle. I guess that's what they called it down there. And uh, we're gonna take some pictures and then we're heading to another spot. Next stop, Lookout Mountain on the Incline Railway. So we're waiting for our train to get here. So we're at the top of Lookout Mountain. Here goes the train. Really pretty views. Wow, you see for miles. We had to um, make a little switcheroo on the car thing here. Cause Keep right. The other one was not driving very well and we were not comfortable driving it. So thank you budget for swapping out our car. Not like you had a choice. Thank you. All right, so we made a stop at the old Gilman Grill um, right down the street from the hotel and it is really neat the food looks amazing on the menu that is a lovely sour and that is a bourbon cocktail with all kinds of fun things in it very tasty okay well dinner tonight is at the flying squirrel and we're here now and we're gonna be meeting some friends. So, pretty neat place, cocktails are on point. They have a handful of sour beers, which I love. There we are. All right, so Ed and Michelle made it. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna eat food that Ed hates. It's all clean, healthy shit.
Okay, it is Friday and we are at the V8 Village checking out all the sports cars and uh, all the British fun cars. Woohoo, look at this. It's beautiful. So excited. That's we're on the floor. Haven't bid anything yet. Somebody get $12,000. That looks like yours. I guess it's like yours. All right, quick stop at uh, No Hard Feelings Bar. Having yourself a quick cocktail before we go find some food. And they're specifically booze only. Okay, so we made it to uh, the Hair of the Dog, a little British pub. Go in here and get some bangers and mash. And uh, a Guinness. Just walking down the street in Chattanooga. Oh, I see fire, I see rain. See sunny days that I thought would never end. Here come the Eberts. Hey. How are you? Hey, How are you? Hey, hey, buddy. All right, made a quick stop at uh, State of Confusion. It's a cool little bar restaurant, indoor, outdoor. Got a bar across the way and a bar in here. Some indoor seating. So, pretty neat place. All right, so normally I wouldn't video a quick stop like this, but this place is called pizzas. Community Pie, and their pizza here, the best pizza ever. Holy cow. I never thought that I would be in Tennessee going, oh my God, some of the best pizza I've ever had in my life is in Tennessee. This place is freaking awesome. Check it out. <laughs> 